this is what it's looking like. And then we have the hair. 209. We're probably going to start heading down at like 215. I'm ready. I hope it's not cold. We will see.
he doesn't want me to wait. We completed the 10K this morning. I am sitting outside our room just because it's so nice out, but here's the metal. I already changed. Sorry, it's so hard to see. I hope you can see all this. I actually felt really good the second half, which was kind of shocking. So I did first half. I kind of started off really fast, and I think that made me really tired. So I reversed my pacer, basically, and started running a little shorter, walking a little longer. And I think that helped because my legs weren't getting quite as sore. It's just so packed in some spots. Other spots, perfectly fine, very open, easy to do whatever you want to do in. But some spots are really crowded and I kind of wanted to jog around them or um, kind of get out of the more clustered areas. So I ended up not really following my pacer. I would if I felt like I started walking too long, but kept with the run walk and I think that helped. I also went to the bathroom. I would say about halfway through when we made it into Hollywood Studios. I kind of passed the first two and I couldn't wait any longer. I was like, I need to go now because I don't know how many there are left. So I went to the bathroom, felt so much better. I don't know if it was just that short break of sitting slash standing in line or what it was, but I felt so much better. So second half felt really good. I ended up finishing. I got my coffee that I'm just sipping on and then I sat and waited because, oh, which you saw. I actually filmed a little clip because I was waiting for my mom to finish. She started in an E. She ended up finishing not too terribly long after me. I kind of, I got like a little photo pass photo with um, the like run Disney sign and like the paddle that you get to hold up. So I got that photo and then got my coffee and I just sat down, I ate, I ate a banana. The rest of my honey stinger waffle, which I didn't finish this morning. And it got really cold like after, I think, cause I was so used to like sweating from running that it caught up to me so I was a little cold so I put on my mylar blanket and just kind of sat there until she was done but I'm gonna turn you around I'm gonna see if the like snack box is the same I imagine it is I think they usually keep them pretty similar but yeah it is current oh I don't have my watch on I'm charging it but I think it's around like 8 40 ish because Hollywood Studios opened at 8 30 Sorry for the noise. <laughs> they opened at 8.30 and I think we're gonna go there. I just don't know when, but let me turn you around and see what's in the box. So, yes, it looks so M&Ms instead of Skittles. We have the chips and cheese like last time. We got sunflowers this time instead of the little crackers and a honey, honey stinger waffle. So. Like I said, pretty similar. I actually really enjoyed this course. I feel like it was very entertaining. I tried to take some clips. I did take clips of every character as well as like a photo at every mile marker. And that was really nice. Um, the only thing that kind of sucked, which you can't really do much about it because it's, it's not one person's fault or even like a handful of people's fault, but the running and walking, people will just walk in front of you when you're trying to like jog. And that makes it difficult because you either have to slow down or like move into the grass, which I did a few times, but like there was one time where I couldn't move and it was like a very tight area. And so that was kind of upsetting or um, when the runners are going through the walkers, like that kind of, messes me up because I have to keep like looking to make sure I'm good to start whatever um, like run or walk I'm on but like I said it's not one person's fault sometimes it was easier to like jog and then come over and jog into the walking until I could like because I don't want to jog and stop right in front of someone that's walking because my walk is probably gonna be a little slower until I get going if that makes sense but felt good I'm gonna go inside raise up my legs, stretch, 
and then I'll talk to you when we decide what we're gonna do. I'm also going to put in the course. I'll put that in right here. And um, so we actually started in Epcot, which was normal. That was the same as last time. Got in our corrals. The corral thing was like, it actually moved faster, which I think is just because it's a longer distance. So they're trying to make sure people are finishing on time. So the corrals actually moved faster, which was nice. The ground was wet though, and I sat like for a little bit of time so I was cold once I stood up but other than that it was okay we started off did the normal like Epcot ish then we went onto the highway there were I think two ramps which the only thing that was horrible about those is that the road is like sideways so your heel is like that and I saw a tip of walking in the grass on either side if you're walking walk on the grass on the walking side if you're jogging or running it's a lot flatter and that is 100% true I recommend that because that's what I did and it helped it was a lot easier so the ramps we did some ramps and then it was highway it wasn't too bad for me my mom actually said that was her like least favorite slash worst part I don't know if it was just because it was tiring it's a newer highway or if it was boring but they had a movie or like shows going music obviously characters so that helps um then we made it into hollywood studios which was so cool we walked right behind the tower of terror went around ended up seeing the front of tower of terror we went from hollywood studios to the boardwalk the boardwalk was wet so i was a little worried because it it's a little slick i ran i would say the majority of the way um and i didn't slide but i was very cautious of it because it was wet everywhere also once you got into there was really no photos at all unless you got like characters but there were no photo ops until you got into hollywood studios which makes sense because they can't really put it on the highway but once you got into hollywood studios it was like photo after photo after photo which was nice same with the boardwalk it was beautiful when the sun was coming up it was like perfect time i took some clips what else we went from boardwalk to I think it was like a lot of back ways. I don't think there was really any more highway. You'll you'll have it here, but at some point we crossed and made it into Epcot again and that's where we finished, so. It was very nice. I really liked the 10K so far. Um, but yes, I will talk to you later. <laughs> Hollywood Studios. I did not film anything just because it was it was pretty like a relaxed day. My feet are killing me so I'm going to lay upside down for a little bit. My mom just got ice so she's gonna ice her probably her shins and her toe um, and we're just gonna relax the rest of the day. Honestly I also recommend wearing your medals to the parks because I'm not kidding every single person that was like a cast member said congratulations or like asked about it so and even like non-cast members just regular people which I don't know just makes it special because you do it but like they're very much aware of like what it is or they're like asking you to tell them about it so i find it super cool um 
but yeah we're just gonna change and relax the rest of the day and i will see you probably tonight to show you my flat lay for tomorrow morning for the half marathon so i'm a little bit nervous if i'm being honest just because i am kind of tired um i feel like it's going to be okay it's just hard to tell you know um it all just depends on how you wake up the next morning i think i'm also gonna hydrate as much as possible tonight because going to the bathroom in the morning like i always have to go to the bathroom when i get there well people do not appreciate you like cutting in line even if you have another person there so i'm gonna try just to hydrate tonight and not drink anything in the morning um unless it's like sips to hopefully prevent myself from needing to go to the bathroom but i will see you tonight for my flat lay and then in the morning for the princess half marathon all right before i go to bed it is 7 30 i just wanted to show you what the flat lay is looking like let me turn you around. Tomorrow is Frozen themed or Tiana. Tiana is the race, Frozen is the challenge. This is what we have. My navy skirt with biker shorts because I'm worried I'm gonna chafe. So I'm gonna try it on in the morning and see how it feels. Socks, my let it go shirt. I am gonna be doing a high ponytail with this bow at the top, braided with this at the end. This has changed slightly. The things we have the same. I didn't use my run gum or my Advil today, so I'm gonna bring it tomorrow. Baggies the same, charger, AirPods, pacer. These are just my earrings, which I bought yesterday. Those are so beautiful, is it not? Okay, anyway sunglasses i'm gonna maybe possibly bring my sunglasses because it's gonna be bright i don't know i don't usually wear sunglasses anyway tissues breakfast has slightly changed as of right now i'm gonna be bringing my granola bar honey stinger waffle today i ended up leaving half of this in my pocket i only ate the banana with peanut butter I think tomorrow I'm going to be a little bit more hungry. So bringing this, bringing these chew gummies, I think, as like a fuel halfway or whenever. I have my bib with my pins or my bib boards. That's what it's looking like. Shoes are going to stay the same. I'm wearing my Hoka Mock 5s. Breakfast wise, I might end up bringing a banana just to keep it the same throughout the only problem is is there are only trash cans along the outer side of the corrals so if i'm in the middle of a corral my mom is in a different one i can't just walk to the edge throw it away and get my spot back it doesn't work like that so i think i'm gonna try to get on the far left side of the corral in the morning and that way I have a trash. I kind of have something to lean against. Yeah, we are getting up earlier because we're gonna get down there at about two, two ten is the hopes um, because the first bus leaves at 2.30. I also think I mentioned I'm gonna hydrate and hydrate tonight and I have been drinking a liquid IV water and that way tomorrow morning i'll have a few sips but i don't want to have to pee once i leave here we'll see how that goes <laughs> who knows yes i think resting helped a lot like we went down for dinner not too long ago my legs really were not killing me my feet weren't either so i think resting elevating stretching I also taped my knee, which I'll show you. Um, it started getting a little swollen up here. So 
taped that and then I also taped my Achilles because today I want to say like halfway through and maybe it was just the ramps because it was like uneven my Achilles started hurting and afterwards when we went to Hollywood Studios it almost felt swollen so I figured I'd tape it couldn't hurt and it's feeling a little bit better so I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna brush my teeth lay down wait to take my medicine and then I will go to bed as soon as possible and I will see you in the morning for the half marathon I'm a little nervous I'm not gonna lie but positivity <laughs> 